Here's a couple of rational equation questions. Anytime you have rational equations, what you want to do is uh, find the lowest common denominator and then multiply every term by that. So in this one, I've got 4, 5, and 1. Lowest common denominator is going to be 20. So I'll take each term and times it by 20. Minus 20 times that one over 5 equals 15 times 20. So this one here, 4 goes into 25 times. So this first term turns into 5 times x plus 2. 5 goes into 24 times. So this term becomes minus 4 times x minus 1. And 15 times 20 is about 300. OK, now uh, use the distributive property. So it will be 5x plus 10 minus 4x plus 4 equals 300. Gather x's together, move numbers to the other side. So it will be a minus 14 on that side. So x is equal to, what's that, 286. And if you plug that back in, um, the 286 into here and here, uh, hopefully you'll come up with uh, 15. Okay, so that's one question. This next one is a little bit trickier because you have to factor everything on the bottom. This, well, try anyway. This first one is not factorable. So you have to leave it like that. First one is already in factored form. The next one is a sum of cubes. And the sum of cubes formula tells me that the answer to that is going to be x plus 2 and x squared minus 2x plus 4. Okay, and x, uh, any time you have a sum of cubes like this, it's equal to a plus b, and then a squared minus ab plus b squared. Okay, so in this case here, it would be like x cubed plus 2 cubed, because 2 cubed is 8. Okay, now the lowest common denominator would be both of these, right? So I'd multiply every term by both of those x plus 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 4, and multiply this term by the same thing and this term by the same thing. So in the first one, this would cancel, and I'd be left with 8 times x plus 2. On this one here, the x plus 2s would cancel, so I'd be left on the top with x times x squared minus 2x plus 4. And then on the last one, the whole thing would cancel. I should have the x plus 2 and the x squared minus 2x plus 4 there. So that whole cancels. And on this one, same thing, x plus 2, x squared minus 2x plus 4. So it's a little messy. So this cancels, and I'm left with the x times that. And on the end, uh, the whole thing cancels, so just left with 24. Okay, distributive property. Same thing over here, uh, plus 4x, plus 24. Okay, and it's a, a power greater than x, so like a x cubed. So I'm going to bring everything over to the right side. Uh, 4x minus 8x would be a negative 4x. And 24 minus 16 would be 8. So now I've got this as a cubic polynomial that maybe I can factor, hopefully. Um, uh, to factor it, you can use group factoring. So I'd, out of the first two, I'd factor out an x squared and be left with x minus 2. Out of the next two, I can factor a negative 4 out, be left with x minus 2. And now I've got two terms, so it equals 0. And so either the, uh, I've got two terms, and in both I've got an x minus 2. So I can factor an x minus 2 out. So that cancels those, and I'm left with, oops, I'm left with an x squared minus 4. Okay, x squared minus 4, you can factor that to x minus 2, x plus 2. Zero property, either x is 2, uh, 2, or negative 2 from these. Okay, now with one of them, if you plug a negative 2 in right there, that gives you a 0 on the bottom of a fraction. Can't have that, so negative 2 is out. So my answer must be 2. 
Hopefully that helps you with those questions.